Highly celebrated and accomplished veteran Nigerian singer, songwriter, journalist, politician and actress, Mrs. Oyeka Wenu is dead. According to reports, the iconic singer passed on Tuesday night after performing at an event in Lagos at the age of 72. She was said to have slumped after performing at a birthday ceremony after which she was rushed to a hospital where she was confirmed dead. The late singer was popular in the 80s and 90s, releasing numerous albums and singles, including the hit song, One Love. The God of perfection, and he's holy, but oh how he loves me, this my God of Uh, Theophilus, uh, may a gentle soul rest in peace. Uh, this is uh, coming with uh, mixed feelings, yeah. but it's also a celebration of life. Uh, it's also a reminder of the fact that uh, life is transient, and uh, whatever we do, you know, uh, should always, you know, also live uh, uh, past us also. Yes, I've um, over the course of my career, I've had I've had cause to meet her in person. She was she has been a wonderful soul. And also, she she's been a, she was a phenomenal actress. I mean, she featured in Half of a Yellow Sun and also Lion Heart, Lion Heart by uh, Genevieve Naji, and Half of a Yellow Sun by uh, the adaptation of the book Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda uh, Dichie. She 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 is also called uh, Queen of Songs mm. because of her vocal prowess and the kinds of songs she um, has written that has gone on to become blockbuster hits over the years and it's quite painful that at this time you know, losing such a soul at 72 um, her immense contribution to the music industry can be seen you know one of those who paved the way for the likes of um, uh, I dare say uh, flavor or uh, fino because she sang in indigenous language that you could dance to even if you don't understand the language but you could relate the music was filled with finesse and so she understand what it was to put good content in music out there for people to listen and enjoy. And every time you see her performing, it's always, always, let me say 99% of the time, always the live band. Mm. Always with the live band. It is not what you see with um, the regular musicians of these days. She always performs with the live band, and it's always exhilarating to see her perform um, it's it's quite sad that we've lost a rare gem, you know, Yeka Wenu. It's it's quite sad, and we do um, pray that the family bear get uh, bear the for, have the fortitude to bear this um, irreparable this loss. loss. It's, it's it's quite a huge one to the family, to the nation, to the music industry, to the creative industry in general. Because she was she she focused on all spheres. She was mm. an actress, she was a singer, songwriter, um, all what not. She did a lot in the industry that. Uh, you could say that um, her footprints in the, in the sands of the music industry can never be erased. It's a very big loss, uh, like you, you, you said, um, at the age of uh, 72. And so many persons who have uh, gotten wind of this information yeah. said she performed at a ceremony mm -hmm. uh, just recently and did not expect that uh, this will happen. Well, apart from the fact that she is a songwriter, let's also not forget her role in, you know, uh, the political space, yes, how, as well. How, how, how much of a voice she was, mm -hmm. especially for the youths, and even during the NSAS protest, uh, she has mm -hmm. always been a joyful soul, even not only when she comes out to you know uh, perform and all that, but when you see her in a public space, she's a person who you know exudes grace, yeah, yes. she exudes mm -hmm. grace and all that. Uh, so, uh, well, it's a big loss. To Nigeria as a whole. It's a big loss to the music industry, like you said. Uh, it's a big, big uh, loss to the music industry. And 